Good evening. Welcome to Wisdom Talk. I'm April Williams and this is Todd Williams. <laughs> and we are filling in tonight for Dr. Paul Kreitz. As many of you know, on July the 5th, Dr. Kreitz had quadruple bypass surgery. It was an open heart surgery. And Dr. Angel has been by his side this entire time of recovery. So Dr. Kreitz has an appointment tomorrow with the surgeon for a follow-up chest x-ray and EKG. So he's thankful for your continued prayers and the seeds that you have sown during this time. And he misses all of you and sends his love tonight. So we just want to give a shout out to Dr. Kreitz. We miss you as well. And we are praying for you and praying for a speedy recovery. So thank you everyone joining us. Hey, what's up, Jeff? Thanks for joining us tonight. I just want to welcome everyone coming on. I see uh, Gregory Davis. I see hey, Greg. Robert the Snake Mickey. Good evening. What's up, Snake? I see Jeff Patzer, Tom Parker, uh, John Lancer. Good to see everyone tonight. Uh, we're filling in for Dr. Kreitz. We've got his, his picture with us. <laughs> so, uh, But he's resting tonight. But we're going to talk to you about uh, one of his new books, uh, Seasons and Sons. Good evening, Bonnie Kreitz. Good evening. Dale Kreitz, good to see everyone tonight that's joining us. Uh, April is going to be talking with us about the new season. What you got for us tonight, April? All right, so um, tonight we wanted to talk about discerning your season and know, knowing what season that you're in. And I talked some about some of this this morning on Wisdom for Your Week. This is so important because many times we go through transitions or we go through difficult times and life just doesn't make sense. You know, I don't know if any of you have ever been there, you know, when you go through and it may be a day where everything seems to go wrong, or it may be an event like a major illness or a major surgery. And at the moment you think, why me? Why is this happening? What is going on? And it can be a time of confusion. It can be a time of disillusionment. It can be even a time of frustration and a time of anger. And so it's very important when you know the season, when you know what's going on, then it can eliminate a lot of the anxiety and fear that goes with a time of transition. Because sometimes you're moving from one season to another. Mm -hmm. And if you think about even in the, na in the natural world, uh, and maybe in March when the season is changing from winter to spring, well, you can have some pretty tumultuous weather high winds and storms and it's like that in our lives at times when we're transitioning it's a difficult time mm -hmm. and many times we become frustrated or uncertain but we need to know when we're in transition and we need to discern the season so we need to know what season we're in that word Absolutely. season means proper time it means right moment it means set time and, and this season god has a set time but not just a set time, God has set people. And if you are a set person, he is moving you into a set time. And you may be going through a transition. You may be entering uncharted territory and it can be a time of uncertainty. So you can grapple and wrestle with the changes and you can miss the season. So you need to stay focused. Don't be discouraged or fearful opportunity can be lost this is a chance for opportunity but it can be lost if we fall into doubt or discouragement or disobedience so you and i were talking earlier uh, and many of the ladies may know what i'm talking about uh, when a woman is going through labor there's a time right before it's time to birth the baby that's called transition and that is a very intense moment when um, some husbands get physically harmed during that time but the, it's a time where you're just you're they tell you that you can't you can't push but you're ready to push and um, sometimes women actually kind of lose it for a little bit and I remember especially with we have five children especially with the last one Zeb I remember saying I can't do this I'm too old for this what were we thinking it's all your fault yeah, I tried to tell you. <laughs> it's all your fault Todd <laughs> So, but and many, it's the same way in our lives. When we go through a transition, it, you can be have those thoughts like, "I can't do this. Mm -hmm. What is going on? Uh, how am I going to make it?" And but it's right before the time of giving birth. It's right before the time of birthing something. So we wanted to talk about that tonight. Hey, Toby, it's good to see you. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to talk about and to encourage you because if you're in a time of transition we want you to be encouraged we want you to discern your season also during times of transition sometimes there's a dismantling there's a taking apart 
I was telling Todd that this week uh, because as many of you know my whole Facebook's been shut down I can't even get on it and then this was all in one day Facebook shut down can't get on it have no access to wisdom for your week I was hacked by somebody in Vietnam and so now Facebook is sending me emails in Vietnamese so and also in the same day uh, I was supposed to speak at a women's conference and that that didn't work out it was postponed though and I told Todd I said it seems like all these plans that were laid out are just dismantled mm -hmm. so Todd has uh, a lot of insight you wrote in your book about uh, the dismantling and I think that's an important aspect of transition sometimes God has to dismantle something Absolutely. so that he can build it back up yeah <clears throat> That's all Jeff's questions. That's why I wear a long sleeve. Actually, that is an instruction of my spiritual father, Jeff. That's It was his instruction to, for me to wear long sleeves. So I'm going to leave it at that, all right? Uh, yeah, jumping into the transition, you, know, uh, you and I went through a major transition uh, in the last two years. Uh, one of the things that Bishop, uh, I call him Papa or Dad, he uh, instructed me, you know, after we had been pastoring a uh, church for 15 years, he told me, Todd, shut the church down. And, uh, you know, I, I was like, what? You know, what, what are you talking about? Uh, I didn't question him. Uh, I just listened. I sat and listened to what he had to say. And uh, one of the things that I went before the Lord, and, and, you know, when you have a spiritual father, one of the one of the worst things that you can do or say to a spiritual father when he gives you an instruction is to say, well, I'll pray about it. Well, here's the deal. Either you believe that mm -hmm. this person is graced by God to speak into your life mm -hmm. a direct instruction, or either you don't. Yeah, you know, that's right. I don't, I don't need a further confirmation uh, from the Lord because the Holy Spirit's already told me this is your spiritual father. Because you have to, if you have to pray about everything he says, he probably shouldn't be your spiritual father. No, no. He, he gave me an instruction, you know, shut the church down. Mm -hmm. Now he did say, I want you, I want you to pray about it, and I want you to consider it. Uh, so I just went to the Lord and I said, Father, show me in the scripture. Show me in the scripture. And he took me to First Kings seventeen and eighteen, and then Second Kings chapter two, and he began to speak to me about Elijah and Elisha, and how that uh, Elisha was in the field plowing and Elijah came you know he came across him and cast his mantle on him and at that point he had to stop plowing and that's one of the things that that Bishop has laid out in this new book um, you know after he had heard me speak that message uh, you know he said you you've got it you understand it uh, was that a difficult transition? Absolutely. We were coming into a new season and there was a lot of changes that had to happen. And, and when a season comes on you many times, it can happen very rapidly mm -hmm. and very quickly. And I believe that we're entering into a new season in the body of Christ. And this is a season of sons. It is a season of spiritual fathers. And, you know, many people ask, well, what is this season all about? So I just want to welcome everyone that's coming on tonight. Uh, I'm Todd Williams, and this is my wife, April Williams, and we're here tonight in behalf of uh, Dr. Kreitz, who is at home resting tonight. You know, here's the thing that you have to begin to understand about this season, and uh, Dr. Kreitz writes about this in this book, is that, you know, the association between a father and a son it becomes so close, a spiritual father and a spiritual son, that Paul, he could literally send Timothy in his behalf because he had the, the same character, the same nature. Uh, you know, he had the same message, the same word. There, there wasn't going to be a variation. And there's a certain confidence that uh, a spiritual father can have in spiritual sons because, you know, he has developed their identity. Uh, he has uh, played a part in developing not only their identity, but it is a spiritual father that uh, both affirms us and validates us, and moreover, that he imparts to us. And he not only imparts his spiritual wisdom and his spiritual gifts, but he imparts his own soul to us. And uh, that's one of the things that Paul talked about in Second Thessal in First Thessalonians 2 and 8. He said that he didn't want to just bring the gospel only, but that he wanted to impart his own soul. And we can see that, that Timothy and Titus and Onesimus 
and those who were the sons of Paul in the faith, uh, that they bore literally uh, the, the nature and character uh, of the apostle Paul because they walked in honor. You know, there's such a powerful word that, that Pastor Arlen uh, brought the other night here on Wisdom Talk. On Monday night. That yeah. was awesome, Dr. Yeah. Arlen Smith. If you didn't see that, you need to go back and watch that from Monday night. We were mm -hmm. listening to it, and it was powerful. Absolutely. Uh, he talked about honor and respect in this season, and the, these are things that you're going to have to harness to transition into this season. So you know, what is the purpose of this new season? Well, we sat through uh, about 15 hours of teaching in St. Augustine a couple of weeks back uh, before uh, Dr. Trikes had his surgery. And Dr. Ben Klinhans from South Africa, from Pretoria, South Africa, he was uh, in St. Augustine at my Wisdom Center, and we sat through about 15 hours of teaching. And there was so many things that I carried away from that. Uh, when, I, when I got home, you know, everyone goes away with a certain portion of things, I'm sure. But, you know, one of the main things that I carried out from there was he, he was talking about how you had to appear before the Lord three times. And, uh, you know, he talked about Passover and Pentecost, but then he said we were to appear in the day of the Feast of Tabernacles. And when I got home, I just dove into the scriptures in Leviticus 23. And, I mean, I was just, I was, I was, I was uh, my, getting my cart before my horse, so I had to slow down and back up a little bit. You know, sometimes when you when you sense that there's a transition of seasons going on in April, you know, you, you get gung-ho and you just want to run with it and go. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you just need to slow down and say, hold on, let me get, you know, what is really happening here. So one of the things that Dr. Kreitz uh, writes here. And I want to tell you, someone had asked, I think it was Suzanne, where can you get this book? Mm -hmm. If you want to understand the season, you need to read this book, Seasons and Sons, and you can get it from paulkreitz.com. paulkreitz.com. If you want to understand this and buy it for someone else, if you already have it and have already read it, order it for someone else and paulkreitz.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he said uh, that if you ordered it tonight, uh, they'd give you a special deal of $20 with shipping tonight on this mm -hmm. book. Great book. Phenomenal I, book. I'm reading it back through again, I think. I don't know, two or three times, but I'm, I'm in the book. So It you know. helps you understand the season. It's a really good book. So I highly recommend the book. <laughs> but anyway, you know, he says, what is, the, you know, what is the purpose of the new season or this new season? It is the restoration of biblical truth. What is that biblical truth? It is the restoring of the truth of the acts of the apostles in our day and uh, an apostolic reformation is necessary in this hour. You know, the church has lost its identity because it has lost the concept of spiritual fathering. Uh, you know, God closed out the Old Testament with Malachi in Malachi 4, 5, and 6. He said that he was going to turn the hearts of fathers to the children and children to the fathers, lest I smite the earth with a curse. This season is about a season of turning. And it's about a season of turning of hearts. And it's the uh, heart of the Father, and the heart not only of the Heavenly Father, but the heart of those who are spiritual fathers to turn to those who are children and begin to impart to them identity, to begin to impart to them the image of Christ, uh, to begin to impart to them validation and affirmation. You know, I don't know if, if, you know, many of you that are watching, you may have been in a ministry, you may have been pastors and, uh, you know, I've, I experienced a tremendous amount of isolation. This is something that I never knew when I was uh, entering the ministry early is how isolated those who are in ministry are. You know, one of the greatest gifts that God has given to me is a spiritual father. Uh, because in this, he understands what I don't understand. He knows what I don't know, uh, and he's been where I haven't been. And all of those, you know, is when you are given access to someone of of that caliber. If you, when you've been given access to a spiritual father, that's something that you must honor in every way. April, it, it's. Yeah, you, tonight is a, a night when you've got to think about all the things that, that he has given, not just in information and revelation, but moreover, a spiritual father gives to you an impartation. And if you don't know what an impartation is, you know, 
You can get my book and uh, read it. <laughs> the and, Apex. On and so the, the church is moving from yeah. programs and performances and entertainment mm -hmm. to fathers and sons. Yes. Fathers and daughters. It's the same thing. Fathers, sons, fathers, daughters. Mothers, you know, there's no male or female in the gospel of Jesus Christ. So God is changing and don't it's a much needed change. It's about time mm -hmm. that we change from programs and entertainment to fathers and sons because that's the only way that maturity is going to come to the church. Absolutely. This is a season where maturity is going to be the mark of the season. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's not going to be someone's gift or their title or their function mm -hmm. that's celebrated. It's going to be their character. You know, character is going to be the thing that's celebrated. You know, it's moving to, uh, in the past, being a pastor has been a career, a profession. Mm -hmm. And we've created such this professional uh, persona that many people have said, I could never be a pastor. Because in his mind or her mind, she's thinking, well, you know, I could never uh, public speak and wow all these audiences. and have... It's not about that. Mm -hmm. Can you be a father? Can you be a mother? Then you have a place in this new season. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So, <clears throat> you know, one of the things that, that we want to talk with you about is moving into this new season. Uh, and it is a transition. And it's a transition for many people. You know, people say, well, what is God doing in the earth? Where, where are we going from here? The first thing you're going to have to do is recognize that there's a new season. This, mm -hmm. is, this is what our spiritual father, Dr. Paul Kreitz, has been announcing. And his spiritual father, Dr. Ben Klinhans, they've been announcing that there is a new season in the earth. So what does that mean? Well, that means that you're going to have to change. You're going to have to transition over into this new season. You know, the purpose of that season is to recover biblical truth, but there's going to be things that, that have to be destructed, and then there's going to have mm -hmm. to be things that are reconstructed. You know, there's going to have to be things that, that you let go of. You, you have to let go of the old season. Mm -hmm. One of the things that Dr. Ben talked about was the danger of uh, mixing the seasons, you know, mixing old and new wine. Listen, if God's going to give new wine, then you have to put new wine into a new wineskin or else both will be lost. So this is going to be a season of a new wineskin. That also means that there's going to have to be some death of things. Mm -hmm. you know, a wineskin comes from the skin of an animal. Something had to die in order to contain the new wine. Whenever there's a new season, there's mm -hmm. new grapes. And new grapes comes forth new wine. And so, a deconstruction. Absolutely. Because you don't build new. You don't, if you want a new house, you don't build it on top of your old one. There has to be a deconstruction. There has to be, and, and many times, the reason why God wants to deconstruct something in your life, it may be painful, it may be confusing, it may make you angry, is because he wants to build and realign and to build something better. He wants to do more than you've dreamt of, but he can't do it with what you already have in place. Yes. You know, one of the things that I had to begin to realize was a transition as a leader in the body of Christ I had to make a transition from a pastoral mindset, and I've operated apostolically as you know with what I do. But I had to transition away from that into uh, seeing myself as a father, and I can only father to the capacity that I am a son. You know, so you know, one of the things that has been instilled into me by my spiritual papa is just be a good son. You know, make that your aspiration. Make that your goal, you know, that you're going to just be a good son. Listen, Romans 8 19 says this, that the creation, it is groaning for the manifestation of the sons of God. This is what all of creation, it's waiting for the sons of God to manifest in the earth. What is that manifestation about? It's about us taking our rightful dominion and authority in the earth as believers. I believe that this is a time when there's going to be a true restoration of authentic Christianity with authentic fathers in the faith who are going to where who are set. I mean, they are set on maturing the souls of their sons. That's what a spiritual father is. He becomes the father of your soul. The heavenly father, he is the father of spirits. That's what the Bible says. You know, and, and the Bible also talks about that we have fathers after the flesh. You know, you have the DNA of your natural fathers. 
Well, you, when you receive a spiritual father, and that's something that you have to do, it will never be a father that identifies you as his son. You have to identify who your father is. You know, as Bishop says, who's your daddy? You know, you, you've got to know who that person is. I believe that there's someone in the earth that is graced to be a spiritual father to you. I didn't know what I was looking for. I just simply, April, I was uh, asking God for order, and God pointed me to a person. You know, I was looking for a what, and he pointed me to a who. A spiritual father will bring order in your life. If it's a person that understands spiritual fathering, they're going to bring order and identity into your life. All right, so in, tonight in talking about this new season, I want to bring out maybe three key points to the new season. Mm -hmm. Discerning your season. Don't be discouraged. You know, don't be dismayed. Don't be afraid. I believe God is moving us into a new season. So what are some key points to this new season? Number one, we need to be teachable and walk in humility. We need to be teachable and walk in humility. Mm -hmm. Number two, we need to receive the revelation and impartation that comes from a spiritual father. Mm -hmm. And number three, this is a season of fathers maturing sons and daughters. We need to walk in maturity. That's going to be the mark of this season. So being teachable and walking in humility, receiving revelation and impartation that comes from a spiritual father, mm -hmm. and this is a season of fathers maturing sons. Yes. So thank you so much for joining us. Hey, you need to get this book. If you want to understand more about this season, if you want yes. to know about this season, you need this book, paulkreitz.com. This is a phenomenal book. Also, hey, go to that website and donate if he if he's made a big impact in your life and he has made such a phenomenal impact in our lives we would not be where we are today without dr christ go to there and donate this is a critical time and this is a wonderful time to show your love and appreciation mm -hmm. to our spiritual father dr christ so go to that website be sure you get that book that is a great book and we just want to we just want to pray for you tonight that you would allow the holy spirit to awaken you to this season Yes. Many of us have gone through transition or we are going through transition. We want to pray for you that the Holy Spirit would awaken you. We don't want you to miss this season. Amen. So, Amen. Father, we just come Thank before you. you in Jesus' Thank name. You. I pray for Jesus. everyone watching tonight. I just pray, Father, that your Holy Spirit will awaken them to this new season. Yes, Lord. I thank you that you are operating in our hearts Thank for maturity. You You're operating in our hearts, Father, to move forward. And thank we just you. thank you for it, God. Yes. We pray for Dr. Kreitz. We yes, pray Lord. speedy recovery. We thank you, Jesus, that you are strengthening his body. We yes, pray strength over him. Yes. Lord God, he be strengthened with divine might yes, in Lord. the inner man. And Father, we thank you for yes. the just for the impact he's had on our lives. And we pray, mm -hmm. God, that all the seeds he has sown, he has yes. sown seeds into all of our lives, that all those seeds sown, God, he would reap a harvest. Yes all the love and all the um, wisdom and everything he has imparted to us. And mm -hmm. we thank you. We praise you for yes. it. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let me encourage you before we close tonight. Have a conversation with God. Have a, a conversation with the Heavenly Father of who is that person in the earth that he's ordained to be a spiritual father to. You know, Elisha could have never become the man that he was without Elijah. Uh, it wasn't just his mantle that he received. He received a double portion of Elijah's spirit. So I want you to, to leave with that thought tonight that you can literally possess in this earth something that wasn't yours and in a, not just a twofold manner, but in an exponential manner. So Amen. we want to bless you tonight in the name of the Lord and we will see you again soon. Keep Dr. Kreitz and Dr. Angel in your prayers. And uh, we will be talking with you again soon. Everybody have a great night. Love you all. Have a good night. Bye-bye.